I just uh, would like to first focus on a, on, a, on a very specific tool which is used quite often, and that is the wall elevation, I mean the wall dimensions. Now the wall dimension has a few options that we didn't talk about yet. And that's uh, hidden in the settings. It's not, not really hidden, it's, it's in plain sight, but I just would like to highlight how those works. Because in some countries, and in, some, in case of designing some sort of specific types of buildings, it can be important. Now, uh, let's just go to the dimension. And there is something called the building. And there are several tools here, but now I'm about to talk about the ovals or the simple walls tool. Now, let's just go with this one, because I would like to measure the whole building around. And this uh, this might be familiar for you already use this tool because yeah. there is a list of dimension options that you can you know select one and add to this bottom list this is how you build it up uh, now i already added something called the, this last option this is actually a sum of this of the length mm -hmm. of the building or the width of the building i will show you what how this differs from the wall endpoints for example or the wall endpoints and connections and there is another tool so this was the first one and there is this other tool I mean, another option, which is called the dimensioning, the midpoint, the, which is actually uh, something that I can easily show you when I do this. And I just select the whole building and let's just place them close to the building now so we can obviously see what have changed. Now, as you can see, normally, I mean, at, at least how I use it for most of my buildings, normally the software would measure the end points, the corner points, the, the outer corner points of the walls, because this is how I measure them. But when I switch that option to midpoint, then I can measure the center and then all center points, even where it joins, this is not joined, so it's not highlighted, but wherever there, there are joints between the walls, it will be automatically mm -hmm. measured. And the, there was this other option, which is you know summarizing the length uh, oh, so of the building. Oh, so if you break on the on the elevation walls, you... for example, here I accidentally overlap the yes, those the are columns, the columns. But, <laughs> but uh, as you can see, there are the, the, there's the there is the the break in the elevation, which is fine. I would like to understand what's the di what's the di uh, distance between those points, but I also would like to have a summary of that, and th and that comes the same uh, at the left hand side where I have. Um, an elevation with, with, with kind of an extension, which normally otherwise wouldn't be uh, measured. But this way, with the last option, uh, the software will always create a sum of that uh, dimension, mm -hmm. you know, the length or width of the building. Very useful. Yeah, so this is this is how you can uh, use those two values. Those are very specific. Not many many of you will use it, and some of you won't because it's just simply not for all types it's, of uh, buildings. It's region to region. Not for all, right. all all countries. But the setting is there. But the setting is there for everyone.